Are you guys ready for lightning round with Sean Spears? Question number one. If your life could be set in any video game, which one would it be? Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say because I've been playing it lately and it, it's going to sound a little morbid but to a degree, but Last of Us. Oh. I was one of the last survivors. And I'll, I'll explain to you why. Do you have time for me to explain why? Go for it. Go for it. You know how, like, I, I, I've done this, but like many people in life, they, you know, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know what path to go down. I don't know if I should go to school. I don't know if I should take this job. I don't know if I should move over here. There's so many options where people become overwhelmed and they kind of like, you know, they kind of crumble up inside and that could be very debilitating. I have, I've had moments like that in my life. Oh, am I doing the right thing? You know, da, 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 da. All right. Now for the last of us, that is a setting where again, there's been like a breakout apocalypse and most people have died, but very few people have survived. And now they have to, you know, do their best to survive in a world that's trying to destroy them. You don't have many options anymore. Your job is to survive. Your job is to hunt. Your job is to get supplies and survive. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You don't have to Try and go in a million different directions. You just have to try and survive. So, and it would be very, very challenging. I think I'd be pretty good at it. I don't know why, but that feels very, very relatable to our real world circumstances right now. <laughs> survive. <laughs> um, question number two. What is your favorite Canadian food item that you wish was here in the U.S. as well? Oh, uh, there is a place that I haven't, I haven't seen it in the U.S. called the Mandarin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. never heard of it. Asian inspired. It's a huge buffet, but it is, oh, it's got everything you could possibly imagine. I go there with my grandmother. Every time I go home, that's our deal. That's our date night. We go, I pick her up. We go to the Mandarin. She puts me under the table every single time with plates and plates of food. I don't know where she puts it, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I've only seen one in St. Catharines, Ontario, where I'm born and raised and one in the Toronto area. I've yet to see one filtered into the States, but if they can bring, if I can bring one thing over there from here, it would be that and probably some horns. Awesome. Question number three. When picking a movie to watch for date night, who normally has the final say? Is it you or is it Peyton? Oh, it's, it's the wife. <laughs> it's the final say. A lot of the movies I choose, she has never seen before. So every now and then she'll let me introduce her to a new movie that I'm blown away at the fact that she hasn't seen. But for the most time, when it's date night, you know, it, it's, the, it's the lady's choice. I'm a big fan of lady's choice. Wonderful. Question number four. What do you think your dogs think about you? They think I'm a moron. No, <laughs> no doubt about it. I chase them around the house. They chase me around the house. I talk to them in voices that I assume if they could speak, they would talk to me in. Um, so they probably just look at me half the time like, this guy's. all right, well, at least we have her. That, that, <laughs> that's the way I kind of see it. But uh, I mean, they're the, they're the sweetest. So Hopefully they think I'm the same, but who knows. So what you're saying is that you're not the favorite. Definitely not. Mama's the favorite. <laughs> Question number five. What was the video game that got you into gaming? Uh, probably NHL. I have always been a huge fan of hockey. I played hockey for like 10 or 11 years growing up. So that when I first got the Sega Genesis or even Nintendo Blades of Steel, that was my go-to when I was a kid. And even to this day, now with the PlayStation and all that kind of stuff, I still play NHL, so definitely hockey. And that leads us into our sixth question. Who do you have winning the Stanley Cup? Oh, my Canucks are still in it, so my Canucks. I haven't watched too much lately, but let's go, boys. Come on. <laughs> question number seven. We all have that one thing that bugs our spouses. What do you think bugs your wife the most? About me? About you, yes. Um... I have, I, I think some things, uh, I have a tendency to, I think I have a tendency to kind of blow up about certain things real quick that don't matter, but I'm also very dismissive about things that really don't matter. So I think that, uh, contradiction can kind of throw her off and go, hold on, you just got mad about that. I was like, yeah, but it, it doesn't really matter. Does it? I'll go, no. And then two minutes later, she'll be mad about something. I'll go, yeah, but what can you really do about it? I'll go, let it go. It's okay. It's always easy to tell the other person to let it go, right? Yes. Yeah, so I think I'm a walking contradiction sometimes. <laughs> Question number eight. What is your favorite and least favorite movie genre? Um, least favorite? Uh, I'm a sci-fi. I'm not a big sci-fi movie guy. Um, I'm a big fan of thrillers. Oh, nice. Long-term, suspenseful, got to put the pieces together. Oh, I didn't see that coming. 
those kind of movies. Like the psychological ones? Yes. I, yeah. I love those kind of, you know, if I, if I have to throw back like Silence of the Lambs, I love those kind of psychological thrillers. So those are my go-tos. Wonderful. Question number nine. Who would you say is the funniest person backstage at AEW? I don't know. I have some good laughs with, with you know, Brody Lee. We, we get along really good. Me and Billy Gunn laugh a lot. Uh, Cody's always keeping things upbeat and yelling random things backstage that make people laugh. Uh, it's just such an overall a really good atmosphere. If you walk through the crowd at AEW, like in, in the certain back backstage area while TV's going on, you'll be hard to find someone who isn't laughing at some point. There's usually a group of people laughing, enjoying themselves, or some. It, it's just a very uplifting atmosphere. So, uh, but if I had to pinpoint, I, I get along really well with uh, with those guys the most. Awesome. And last question, question number ten: How many donuts can you eat in one sitting? Oh, baby. <laughs> So, oh, she's gonna kill me for this. I'll try again. So, she, she probably won't watch this. I used to, I at least won't show it to her. Um, so, my wife um, set the gauntlet record. She was in Canada once. She's a massive fan of Tim Hortons. I think over the course of four days, she had 24 donuts. No. Which is, and she, if you've seen her, she looks like. I, don't I know, can't see it as a possibility. That's six a day. Six oh. a day. So, I, I was blown. She told me that over the phone, and I, I think I, I made the face I'm making right now. I was almost thinking, like, I don't know if I could do that. I think I can probably, in a day, I can pro I can probably do six before I start feeling like, oof. But six a day for four days, I couldn't do it. I couldn't oh, do it. Uh, man. That's, that's old records. Uh, 24 in four days, uh, she's, she's a badass. So I'm probably half a dozen, half a dozen max before I start getting sugar coma and I'm done. Exactly. Well, you know, I honestly wish that, you know, we could sit here and eat all the donuts in the world without having to worry about calories or just feeling, you know, bloated thank afterwards. You. <laughs> um, Sean, I want to thank you so much for doing this interview with me. It has been an absolute blast chatting with you. Before we go, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at perfection with a 10 instead of the IO. And on Instagram, I'm at the Sean Spears. But most importantly, you can catch us AW September 5th, all out. Ooh, not gonna want to miss that. You're not gonna want to miss that. I'm Alrighty, everyone, do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll have all the links in the description box below so you guys can follow Sean Spears. Do not miss all out. Again, I will have the links for that as well. Other than that, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.